Hi guys, welcome back to another Matchbox Garage build-off video. Uh, today I shall attempt to take this little mini from shabby to kind of shiny. I'm doing a Mr. Bean replica. Um, Martin from Retro Restore uh, sent me a little message and said, you know, do you fancy doing a doing a build-off? Um, which of course I I accepted. Um, and he suggested doing a kind of TV car replica of, of, of you know, of our, our, our own choice. And uh, so not only does my son love Mr. Bean, I loved Mr. Bean as a child. Um, and also you would have seen earlier in the week um, an unboxing series where Rick kind of gave me loads of cars. One of his suggestions was to make a Mr. Bean car. So here we are today. So we start by removing the rivet, drill down the centre of the post, remove the flange and tap the hole. Not forgetting my very handy vice. So here's the car that we're going to be playing with today. Uh, this was, as I mentioned, in the unboxing video from Tuesday this week, um, where Rick kindly uh, donated tons of cars which still um, it still blows my mind today um, but uh, yeah very thankful for that so underneath she reads matchbox series number 29 uh, racing mini made in england 1970 uh, lesney products and co so this is a super fast one um, lovely little mini i just you know i think this is a great little car one little casting uh, problem here on the rear number plate so just a single rivet on this car and the number plate through the back end of the casting there holds on the rear um, but yeah it looks like a child has had some fun with this car scratched it all over but you know that makes it even more fun to restore so we just take out the screw there and although I've taken down the flange it's still a tight fit so yeah just need to give it a little prod and out she comes. So there's that rear number plate. I'll have to fix that later on. Center pipe. Little little wheels on these. Bit of suspension. Interior, nice and simple and clean. Now I understand that this is perhaps not the correct. Uh, model to do a Mr. Bean car, but I've also I've done some research and it's it really seems like throughout the years they used different minis, they had different greens, they used different blacks, they had different wheels. So you know this is my interpretation. Can we say that this is my interpretation of a Mr. Bean car? Now the colour, I used 20 parts yellow to one part green. And I come up with this and I feel it looks very good. It looks very close. So like I say, 20 parts of the X8 uh, to just one part X5. And I was kind of on Google Images and honestly I was seeing different shades of green. And same again with the bonnet there. Um, I'm going to use um, Tamiya X1 for the bonnet. This is going to be a gloss black bonnet. I've seen some with gloss black, some with matte black. So, you know, you kind of take your pick, really. So we use caustic soda into some boiling water. Remember all your protection and I use a couple of teaspoons and a couple of minutes later you'll see here nice and up close and personal the paint just coming away in large flaps kind of pink there um, I don't know if you've seen a large pink flap before but you certainly have today and then just rinsing it down the sink 
I've got the cleanest drains in Essex and we see the car here with 99.9% .9 of the paint removed there's a couple of little bits there hanging on by you know by a thread but otherwise you know the car is covered now into, into some uh, oxidization which I'll remove with this wire wheel and kind of you know one of my little um, things here uh, please do use uh, safety glasses oh now give you a little wave there in the reflection um, but please do use these glasses because <laughs> the reason why I know that is because I have been hit in the eye um, <laughs> with one of those little metal pieces uh, flying off there but come out pretty good doesn't it looks very shiny very nice uh, thankfully there was no I think there was a couple of little scratches where some would have you know scratched through it before but very minor and certainly didn't come through through you know, on the primer now I started out with this grey primer I don't know whether there's something wrong with this grey primer um, I've used it a couple of times recently and I've had issues with the finish um, and I'll tell you a secret don't tell anybody um, I painted this car three times and uh, apologies if you can hear my children in the background um, I think one of our dogs is playing around and the children are telling him off but anyway back to the video uh, yeah so I went with my normal method here covering the car uh, in this primer in one kind of standard coat uh, but actually I, I ended up doing this car three times through one problem or another um, I actually switched up on the third attempt to the white primer and I didn't have any issues so I don't know whether it's the primer to be honest I was having issues here with my gun um, I think I just had like a something stuck in the end um, not too sure what that was all about I did a full a full kind of tear down on my airbrush um, and what I thought was give it you know a really good clean but yeah, I still had a little, something in there still. Um, yeah, this first go, you know, it's one of those one of those things where I either with these builds, I either have no issue and go through without a hitch, or it's almost like the opposite. And every step of the way, I get an issue. You know, I get a problem. I get something that that makes me you know question uh, my hobby here but no it's uh, it's always it's always so worth it in the end once you see the you know the final product so um, you know I'll keep my calm um, and just you know redo it now I must admit I've, I've now run out of the yellow so I need to after free paints so I have to go and buy myself some more yellow um, these are about four pound a time, so they're not, you know, it's not, certainly not a cheap hobby. Um, and with kind of April's um, revenues, yeah, the, yeah, my videos earn about five dollars each, so I'm certainly not making any money. Uh, you know, this is just for the fun of it. But the base has just had a little go over there with the wire brush. I'm going to turn my attention now to the wheels. Um, now I covered it all in the chrome. Now you can kind of, you know, again looking at pictures, they look like they were full chrome hubcaps, so that's what I try to replicate. But I've put my um, little bit of paint there in the centre of the exhaust, painted up both the um, front and rear number plates, having fixed that rear number plate, and then put a little bit of Citadel inside the slats uh, of that front grille just to make it look a little bit more realistic and again looking through some pictures on the Googles um, it appeared that uh, Mr Bean's car was a black interior so I painted that black too from the standard white um, gave a little bit of a polish to the windscreen there and just dunking it into my uh, pledge revive it and we put that to one side to dry. So now that everything is dry, it's a day later. I really like the little details there. 
windscreen come out beautiful and then you'll see I've done a the black bonnet now I've put the detail in the front lights front indicators rear lights rear indicators um, and then I've gone over the whole lot with the Tamiya uh, TS13 and a reminder of what she looked like and the result now I think this is very good I really like it it's my interpretation of Mr Bean's little car so you know the style might not be perfect the wheels might not be perfect the black bonnet might not be perfect the color might not be perfect but to me if you ask anybody if you go down the high street and you show them this car and you ask them who drove this car I guarantee that everybody would say Mr Bean so that to me is close enough I'll put a little bit of uh, silver also on the gas uh, cover there but yeah this now is in my son's possession and he loves it so I just wanted to obviously take this opportunity to thank Martin at Retro Restore his link to his video and his channel will be down in the description uh, please check it out and thank you to my patrons there too Beep, beep.